fast tech. In this one, we're gonna be disassembling an Xbox One X. I'm gonna be disassembling the system down to the motherboard, so we're gonna be taking everything out. And along the way, I'm gonna be showing you guys each part that fails and how to replace it when it inevitably does. We sell all Xbox One parts, including this Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit. It certainly made things a lot easier since it's automatic and we don't have to manually take out each screw and there's a lot of screws in this thing. Not as much as the PS4 systems of its generation, but still. Links for this toolkit are in the description box and you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. You can also use this coupon code not only for Xbox One X parts that we saw on our site, but also all other electronics and game console parts and we carry them all. Links are in the description box for Xbox One X parts, but if you need any other electronics parts or this toolkit, check us out at fasttechstore.com. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the back of the system. There's gonna be a sticker here. This is the warranty sticker, so if you remove this, you will lose any warranty with Microsoft, if you have any. There was an FTC ruling that these are no longer considered warranty stickers, but that only applies in the United States. And so we're gonna take a flathead and we're gonna remove this sticker that hides this torque screw. So we're gonna push it to the side just enough to where we can get to that screw and the driver that you need for this is a torx t10 there's another one on this side here with no sticker on it once these two screws are out we're gonna remove the top end of the case we're gonna move it to the front like that then up and then this side comes off like that and then you kind of like just pull it off like that, push it down. It's very complicated, but that's how you're gonna take it off. The first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys how to replace is the network slash Bluetooth module, which is on the side here. There's three Torx T8 screws that hold it in. Once these three screws are out, we can just lift the network adapter out. That's a model 1802 right there. We sell this on our website, links in the description box. You can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Next up, the RF module at the front. It's also got three screws holding it in. There is a ribbon cable that we're gonna remove. We're gonna get a flathead and lift up this clip before we remove these three screws. So while I was doing this job, the FastTech Pro Auto Kit ran out of juice. But luckily it does have a USB plug-in. So if it does run out of charge, we can plug it in. And now we're good to go. Now that we've pulled those screws out, we're gonna gently pull up the RF board. And we're gonna pull out the cable like that. And remember guys, if you replace the Wi-Fi and network module early, if you've already replaced that and your signal problem still persists, it could be the RF board because this does boost the signal from that network module. So in some cases, you might have to replace this. If you need one of these, links in the description box. So to proceed further, we're gonna remove all these Torx screws. Most of these screws here are T10 screws and these ones for the X clamp are T8. So the longer ones hold the case on and those are the ones that I'm removing right now. Next, we're gonna remove the two T8 screws for this connector. Next, we're gonna lift up this connector very gently. We're gonna move it to the side. Now we're gonna flip the system over and the case should come off. Like that. That's the case right there. Again, we sell all these parts, including the case on our website. Now we're gonna remove these two Torx screws. They're T8s. This one goes here, this one goes here. We're gonna lift the mid frame up and it should come off like that. Depending on which one of these components you want to replace, you're gonna have to remove the corresponding screws at the back. 
There's several Torx T8 screws, but each one holds in a different device. The disc drive is not held in by anything, so that's gonna be removable at this point. But since we are disassembling this whole thing, I'm gonna now remove all of these screws. First, we're gonna remove the T10s and then the T8s. Now for the Torx T8s. Now we're gonna flip the Xbox over. We're gonna hold all these components in because none of the screws are holding them in at this point. So now we're gonna remove the disc drive first. There's gonna be a couple of cables here. One of them is the power cable and the other one's the SATA cable. We're gonna remove that. And now we have the disc drive free. To replace the disc drive, you must open this. There's four screws that have to be removed. And there's a logic board inside that has to be put into your new disk drive. Otherwise, your disk drive is not gonna read games, even if it's a brand new disk drive. You have to put in the old logic board from your old disk drive and install it in the new disk drive if you want your new disk drive to read. If you wanna buy these disk drives from us, we sell them on our website, links in the description box. So we're gonna take apart the disk drive, we're gonna switch to our Philips bit from our kit, we're gonna remove the four Phillips screws. Now we're gonna lift up the bottom panel from the disk drive, and that's what it looks like from the inside. That's the logic board right there that I was talking about earlier. This has to be installed into your new disk drive if you want this to work. There's a few screws that have to be removed here and then you have to desolder these two wires and re-solder them back on and that's how you replace the disk drive on an Xbox One X. Again, links in the description box if you wanna buy one. Now we're gonna remove the hard drive. We're gonna remove these two cables. Again, there's a power cable and a SATA cable and then we're just gonna lift this whole thing out. Xbox One X systems were shipped with one terabyte and two terabyte hard drives. If you're looking to upgrade yours, there are a few steps that you have to take before you can use any laptop 2.5 inch SATA hard drive in your Xbox One X or a regular Xbox One. And we did a video showing you guys how you can turn a regular hard drive or SSD and make it work in an Xbox One system or an Xbox One X in this case. And I'll link that video in the description box. If you want these hard drives, we sell them on our website. Again, links in the description box. If you wanna get this hard drive out of the enclosure, you have to remove a few screws here at the back. These are T10s. We're gonna switch back to our T10. And now the hard drive's free from its enclosure and now we can remove the connector and the hard drive's free. We're gonna have to get the power supply out of the way. So we're gonna lift up this piece of tape right here. And we're gonna lift up the power supply and get it out of the way. Unroute that connector. And we're gonna remove the fan by lifting up the fan connector. And then the fan assembly is gonna come off. We get the power supply out of the way. And now, we're down to the motherboard. We're gonna remove the motherboard by simply lifting it out. And now the motherboard is out. That's the Xbox One X motherboard. So now we're gonna remove the heat sink from the motherboard. We're gonna remove this X clamp that holds it on. We're gonna switch to a flathead. So we're gonna pry the X clamp off like that. We're gonna do each side. You're gonna, you wanna take your time with this and be very patient. Like that. Now we're gonna push and the heat sink is gonna come off. That's the heat sink right there. Apparently it's got a vapor chamber on it. Seems like, yeah, looks like it. And that's the heat sink 
for an Xbox One X. We sell this on our website as well. Surprise, surprise. And another thing we sell on our website is the motherboard. And we sell these with the paired logic board from the disk drive. And you can buy it with a complete disk drive with the matching logic board, or you can buy it with just the logic board. We have both options available on our website. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these cables. These are for the disk drive. And now with those cables removed, we've removed everything from our Xbox One X. And again, we sell all the parts that you saw on our website, links in the description box as always. And you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Please make sure to follow my personal Instagram account. I post a lot of interesting and funny content on there and also follow our Fast Tech Instagram page. Also make sure to subscribe to my vlog channel in which I travel the world and I record my adventures. And I promise that you won't be disappointed. Links in the description box for that as well. This is Young Tech God from Fast Tech signing out.